Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Pure Ice Hit the Floor and Salon Perfect Starlight Star Bright. I started off with Neltik's Formula 2 and here is Pure Ice and this one's called Hit the Floor. It's very, very similar to China Glaze's Ruby Pumps, one of my all-time favorites. And here is Salon Perfect Starlight Star Bright. Oh, she's gorgeous. <laughs> We're going to go in with our first coat of Hit the Floor. It's got an excellent formula. Oh, this one's just so gorgeous. I don't even wear red polishes that much, and this one's just singing. I am going to be sure to cap my free edge. Oh, just lovely. Hi, Woody. How you doing? There we go. And now for our first coat of Starlight Star Bright. Excellent formula on this one also. I'm getting a little messy, but not too bad. Capping that free edge and making sure that sidewall's got. Sorry, I'm almost all the way out of frame. Trying to get to that little, little side piece there. And Woody's going to come back again. There we go. <laughs> All right. First coat's down. Let's start with the second coat of everything. And I am going to stop at two coats on both of these. Oh, I'm getting a little sloppy. Pardon me. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. That's just oh, squishy, sparkly goodness. Oh, I'm just in love. Oh, my goodness. And Woody going to be back again, I'm sure. Nope. Oh, goodness. Look, we're breaking out the big guns now. i got the cleanup brush out. With some acetone. I ain't playing. You know. So, sometimes you have to do that. And, I, I, you know, with, with red polishes and blue polishes, I do tend to do that more often, breaking out the cleanup brush. There we go. Oh my gosh, these are just so gorgeous, all on their own. Hi, Woody. See, he's still around. There we go. I am going to top this one with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Seal it in, get it to summer down some so we can, you know, do some stamping. Gotta do some stamping. Be sure to cap that fridge. Look at that. I'm, this Ruby, Ruby pumps in a bottle just like. And that's pure ice. That was like a $2 polish. Oh my goodness. And this blue one really could be. It's probably very, very similar to Dorothy Who. So, you know, keep that in mind if you spot these when you're out shopping. I don't know that they're dead on dupes. But boy, they sure do. They sure do look similar. Gorgeous. Love it. All that bling. Here's a swatch photo of them on their own. And I've got my Burt's Bees on my cuticles. And I've got some sticky base from Pro FX down on the nails I'm going to stamp on. And I'll be stamping with Brave Steve's Shutout. I'll be using that Queen Stamper and Scraping Card. As well as this Wistonia plate. This is the American Freedom plate. It's a gorgeous plate. I love this plate. So I'm just going to use some different images off of this one plate. Get my polish on there and do a good scrape and a clean pickup. And plop that down. There we go. I do really enjoy 4th of July manicures there. You know, to me it's like official summer when you do these. Now this next image is one of my favorites off of this plate. It leaves lots of open space for you to still see the beautiful polish underneath. And this one is just the opposite. It covers up a lot. Just lets the base polish peek through. Just a little bit. I'm trying to restamp a nail I already did. Girl done lost her mind. But I do like the image with that wave. And I'm going to use this little like flag heart on my pinky. It's so cute. It's so stinking cute. Line that one up pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Yes. 
And then, I, you know, I have a thing for these eagle images, so I'm going to use this one on my pointer finger, fingernail. I'm going to try to line that one up. Gorgeous. And there we go. Ta-da. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with some tape. And everything's coming up really nice. Love it, love it. I'm so happy about that Burt's Bees hack. Oh, that's just amazing. I'm going to go in here real quick. Just a couple of little pieces lingering. And, and some under that nail. Looky there. All right, I'm going to top this one with some posh top coat. Seal it all in so that the design will stay for a little bit. I did manage to get three of these manicures done for 4th of July this year. I was pretty proud of myself. <laughs> I had too many polishes I wanted to use. So there is my manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself.